everybody. My name is Natalie Hudson. I am the Fine Arts Department Chair here at Cambridge, and I'm here to talk to you about the Fine Art Diploma Seal um, that you may be eligible for pending your completion of a certain amount of tasks by um, the spring end of spring semester um, 2021. So typically, the Fine Art Diploma Seal is something that people um, plan for all along the way. Um, and it is for students who are very enrolled, enriched, and active in the fine arts programs, be it specifically within one performing arts field or visual arts. Um, they have been involved for at least three years of their study here at Cambridge. So I have a screen here that I can show you and take you through the process of um, earning the diploma seal. Um, the first thing that you would need to do is review your transcript and be sure that you will be completing a minimum of three full credits in one fine art field um, with an additional credit in an exterior field. So, for example, um, you have to have the core of your fine arts study in one particular field. So you can't take, you know, one semester of um, visual arts, a, a semester of theater, two semesters of band, two semesters of chorus, or I'm sorry, one year of band and one year of chorus, and then try to piece all of that together. It's for directed study of people who have really pursued a passion within one major bracket um, of the fine arts program. So for total credits, you must be enrolled and involved in extracurricular activities that are arts related. So that's honor societies, um, participate in those for two years in a row, or, you know, in some aspect, you're involved in extracurricular activities um, within the specific content area. And then you are able to document 20 hours of community service. Because of COVID, and the limitations that have happened, that community service component is um, negotiable. And so pending your participation in the um, extracurricular activities, the fine or the um, the extracurricular component of community service is um, something that we can work with. So you'll want to communicate with your director of your program to see what options you have for spring semester to try and finalize towards the diploma seal. In addition, there must be some sort of capstone project. So a capstone would be some type of presentation where you are reflecting um, and culminating your experience in the arts overall. And in the, the context of what we're in right now, we'll have to kind of wait and see what we are allowed to do pending the limitations per CDC recommendations, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but your director, again, will be communicating with you exactly what it is that you need to be doing to earn that capstone and your community service component. Um, so the main things that you need to know are that you need to express interest to your um, director. Your director is going to be sending out information about people who will be interested. Likely it will be a Microsoft form where you have to go through and fill out your eligibility on that form. Um, the director will then communicate with you about um, beginning the process of documenting your participation in fine art diploma seal um, components and then go through a screening process to determine eligibility. Um, so once you've reached the potential for eligibility, you must um, pursue that process on your end because this is a, um, a, a culmination of your experiences and this is for the people who have really earned the highest honors possible in the visual arts programs and in the performing arts programs. So um, if this is something that you're interested in, you would want to be sure that you're really communicating with your director within your specific program um, early and often this semester. Um, we will go through a committee process where we have to review your portfolio of work, 
and um, measure that you have met all of your documentation. And then we will start the process of notifying the district to send us the seals and your um, honors cords for graduation. So within the uh, process, you'll have to identify all of your credits. Remember that you must have a total of four credits. So if it's visual arts, we're all semester long. So that means technically eight courses of visual arts or um, six visual arts courses and one year of AP at a minimum. Um, most of the other uh, performing arts programs are semester or year long bands. So those would be one full credit per year that you've been enrolled in the performing arts. Um, if you have additional creative industry courses, there are a few in CTAE that can apply. Um, and literary, uh, literary magazine can also apply to the fine art diploma seal credit. Um, you would have to list your uh, participation in extracurricular activities such as National Art Honor Society, art shows, competitions, um, exhibits, you know, things that happen outside of the school day that you're engaged in with the arts in mind. And then we would have to have a plan for your capstone presentation or your capstone project. So in most cases we have, like I can speak to the arts because or the visual arts, because that's what I teach. Um, most students earning the fine art diploma seal are enrolled in AP. Their capstone would be also the AP art show. They would just have a written component that follows after that to kind of reflect on their art experience through this um, entire year or entire four years at Cambridge. Um, and then you'll identify the teacher. So that's your director of whatever program you're in study um, who will be overseeing your process. It's really not a challenging process to do. You just have to be sure that you're documenting along the way. Um, there is a 20 hour minimum for community service. But again, if you've been involved in all of these opportunities, the total number quantity of um, community service may be something that we can adjust. So just don't be turned off by that component, especially this year, because it's been so difficult to do anything with the community because we've all been in quarantine or on lockdown in some way. So don't don't worry about that. Just work with your director and we can give you some options for that. Um, and then we will provide this worksheet to help you kind of navigate through. So the first thing you'll want to do is be sure that you speak with your director um, and they can help you get that process um, established. Okay, and then if you're at all interested, if you go on to the visual arts website, um, which is chsfineart.wordpress.com, there is a um, fine art diploma seal tab on that website. And this just speaks to, again, the requirements of basics for what it would take to participate. You could also search it on the GADOE um, website as well because it's a state program. And then I'll leave you with um, the fine art diploma seal itself. So we earn the seal here at the school and then the school will apply your seal to your diploma. It's a great little insignia to, to um, commemorate four years of really dedicated participation and service to something that's really important to you. And then in addition, you do get a wonderful graduation cord um, to honor your service to such a wonderful program. Um, and it's the three greatest colors of Neapolitan ice cream. So pinks, browns, and whites to represent the three major programs of theater, um, music, and visual arts. Contact me if you have any questions. Um, my email is hudsonn at fultonschools.org, but start with your direct, your direct um, program teacher. So if you're in band, it would be Mr. Borger. Uh, theater would be Mr. Kelly. Chorus, uh, Mr. Van, Van Dyke. And um, orchestra would be Ms. Justice. But reach out and be ready to, to start collecting your information and earn such a high honor in the visual arts and the performing arts here at Cambridge.